The famed dome atop the Santa Maria del Fiore Cathedral in Florence, Italy, is often referred to as Brunelleschi's Dome. It is named for the Florentine Renaissance architect whose skill, ingenuity, and perseverance helped produce the largest brick-and-mortar dome ever built. Perhaps it's best to start this brief story at the nearby Baptistry of St. John. This octagonal basilica has three sets of doors, on the north, east, and south sides. Of minor importance is that, if you were approaching from the west, you simply were out of luck. Of major importance was that, in 1401, a design competition was held for the construction of the set of doors on the east side, facing the cathedral. The finalists included two sculptors of great renown, our protagonist, Filippo Brunelleschi, and his fierce competitor, Lorenzo Ghiberti. Ghiberti won the competition, and later went on to produce doors of such beauty that they were dubbed the Gates of Paradise by the great Michelangelo. After this setback, Brunelleschi switched his focus to architecture and traveled to Rome to study the ancient ruins. Upon returning to Florence, he designed several structures, including a hospital and a sacristy, before he constructed his magnum opus, the eponymous dome. In 1418, Brunelleschi entered the competition to design the dome for the partially constructed Santa Maria del Fiore. Again, he was competing against his arch-rival Ghiberti, but this time he prevailed. His plans achieved a feat of engineering no other competitor could match. He would build the enormous dome without any supporting structures used during construction. The engineering behind the construction is beyond the scope of this video, but it was based on the concept of building a dome within the outer dome. While this style of architecture was untried in Europe, it was common in Islamic architecture at the time, such as with the Bibi Khanum Mosque, built in modern-day Uzbekistan several decades before Brunelleschi's dome. The dome was completed in 1436, with one last piece remaining to be designed, the lantern atop the dome, through which light would filter into the cathedral below. Minor though this may seem, it was subject to another design competition, which Brunelleschi also won. And while he designed a model for the lantern, construction was completed several decades after his death. Filippo Brunelleschi, Italian sculptor and architect, is buried in a crypt beneath his majestic dome but a statue nearby allows him to, centuries later, look up to his magnificent creation. Inscribed in the entrance to the Florence Cathedral are these words. Both the magnificent dome of this famous church and many other devices invented by Filippo the architect bear witness to his superb skills. Therefore, in tribute to his exceptional talents, a grateful country that will always remember him buries him here in the soil below. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at a Renaissance master whose passion, ingenuity, and skill developed over decades allowed him to create this enduring legacy of a man in his times. Have a great day.